Hello, I welcome you all. Uh, the problem reads uh, pegs A and B are restricted to move in the elliptical slots due to the motion of the slotted link. If the link moves with a constant speed of 10 meters per second, determine the magnitude of the velocity and acceleration of peg A when x is equal to 1 meter. This problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics Dynamics 14th edition by RC Hibela. So we've been told that the link moves with constant speed of 10 meters per second. And from this figure, we have been shown that this particular peg is moving in the horizontal direction with this constant speed. We can therefore say or conclude to say this constant speed is in the x direction. Therefore, our x dot, which is equal to uh, vx, which is equal to dx dt, is equal to 10 meters per second. All right. We have been given the equation here that governs the path of this particular uh, elliptical slot. And here, this is supposed to be y and not v, like so. Right. So let's write down the equation here. So this is x squared divided by 4 plus y squared equal to 1. Okay. So let's make y squared subject of the formula. So this just becomes y like so equal to 1 minus x squared. Let's find the time derivative of a y as well as x so this becomes 2y y dot equal to minus 2x x dot divided by 4 all right so this just becomes y dot like so equal to uh, minus x x dot divided by 4. So let's now work out double derivative of this. Here we have product rule and the other side product rule. So this just becomes y dot squared plus y y double dot equal to minus 1 over 4 x dot squared plus x x double dot okay all right so here we are uh, we have done this one step so now what we need to do is uh, to find the value of y since we know uh, at x equal to 1 okay in the equation uh, y squared equal to 1 minus x squared divided by 4. y becomes equal to, calculate that, grab your calculator. What does that become? So it then becomes 1 minus 1 divided by 4. Okay. And then uh, square root of that. Because we have a plus and a minus, we are just going to use a positive. This is a zero point uh, eight six six zero. Okay, so one minus uh, point two five four six square root of that point eight six six zero. So there we go. So now what we need to do 
is to find y dot since we already have our x dot so we are going to replace uh, in this particular equation we are going to replace this value okay we replace this value uh, here and we also replace this value there okay once we do so and we also replace this value this one okay once we do so then we have the following what do we have we have a minus one times x dot which is a 10 divided by 4 divided by 4 and then divided by y which is 0 0.8660 right so we have y dot okay which is equal to we have y dot which is equal to by which is equal to dy dt and it is equal to minus 2.89 meters per second okay so found y dot we need to now find the acceleration in the x and in the y and since v y v x since v x equal to 10 is constant therefore um v dot in the x direction which will be equal to a x which is equal to the v x with respect to t is just going to be equal to zero meters per second squared all right let's create a boundary now well, having said that then let's find uh, by so given the equation uh, y dot squared plus uh, y y double dot okay equal to minus 0.25 x dot squared plus x x double dot all right we know that our y dot I mean not our y dot yes our y dot our y dot is equal to okay our y dot is equal to minus 2.89 our x dot is equal to 10 and our x is equal to uh, 1 and our y is equal to uh, 0 0.8660 we can simply find y double dot making y double dot subject to a formula from that equation y dot therefore which is equal to a y which is also equal to uh, dv uh, the VY uh, DT is just going to be equal to let's compute it um, so what do we have X dot squared okay plus 1 times X double dot which is just a 0 so this part is a 0 okay this part here is a 0 all right this part is a zero this is x 
which is x double dot this part here this is x double dot in the x direction all right so this part here is zero this part here um right so we only have uh 10 squared times minus point um two five uh -huh. and then what do we have when we can say y dot is um minus so this just becomes minus 2.89 squared okay there we go then divided by y and y is 0 0.8660 okay so this gives us a minus this gives us let me repeat this again so 10 squared by 0.25 mm -hmm. uh, minus y dot which is 2.89 squared and divided by y which is 0 0.8660 all right so this gives us this gives us minus 38.51 meters per second squared right uh, they are asking us to determine the magnitudes of velocity and acceleration so let's write down all the values that we found so we have uh, x dot which is equal to vx equal to uh, 10 meters per second okay or we have uh, y dot equal to vy equal to um, uh, 2.89 meters per second going down we have um, x double dot which is equal to ax and this equal to 0 meters per second squared and then we have finally a, a y double dot which is equal to a y and this equal to uh, 38.51 meters per second squared and it's also going down so with this information we can calculate the velocity we know that our velocity is equal to for magnitude is equal to v vx squared plus vy squared and we also know that our acceleration is equal to our ax squared plus ay squared we have all these values here so we can simply say our velocity therefore is just going to be equal to um, 10 squared plus 2.89 squared square root of that we have a 10 point uh, 41 meters per second and the acceleration is just going to be equal to uh, that is the same number 35.51 squared square root of that gives us the same because the other one is zero so this just becomes equal to 38.51 meters per second squared all right i guess we are done we found the in individual components here all right and then from the individual components they are able to uh, uh, using Pythagoras theorem come up with the magnitudes 
So I hope this particular video was helpful and if it was, uh, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and liking my channel. Bye bye and I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.